Cause he really rock with me way back then Girl, how about now? Cause I'm up right now And you stuck right now Thought you had it all figured out back then Girl, how about now? I'm up right now And you stuck right now Off a little effort that you put in was enough Girl, how about now? Yeah, yeah and welcome to my channel today is the last video of 2015 which is insane to me this is here even last for like at least two seconds 2015 has been amazing to me this year did have its up and downs for me but i still loved it today i have a little video for you guys so since the new year is coming up and summer is coming up it is definitely the perfect time to get bikini body ready a bikini body does not mean you have to have the perfect size for a bikini, actually a bikini body is so easy to achieve, just put a bikini on your body, that's just how easy it is. But I know that you guys just want to get to a certain amount of weight they want to have and sometimes it's even healthier for some people. So I just want to help you guys as much as I can and since I know that you guys have a lot of weight loss videos, I decided to do this one for you lovelies. A video about how to get bikini body ready for 2016 in winter. So let's get into the video! If you haven't checked out all my videos on my weight loss, then make sure to check them out. They will be all linked down below in the description box, so make sure to check them out. Also, my main video will be linked right here. <laughs> so go check that one out. Let's get back to the basics. I lost 50 pounds. Basically, I looked like dad and dad and all that. And I know it's insane how much I have changed. My body has changed, my face has changed. No, I did not have surgery. No, I did not have nose surgery. No, I did not have any surgery at all. But not only my appearance changed, my self-confidence has changed so much. I have gained so much self-confidence. I started loving myself. I started accepting flaws. I started being okay with myself and that's such a beautiful thing. No, you don't have to lose weight to be accepted in society, to be beautiful, to be called beautiful. But if you really want to do that, if you really want to lose weight, then why not? No one is stopping you besides yourself. Sometimes you set yourself limits without even like noticing you're doing it. It's the same with like overthinking. You just stop. You just start thinking about stuff that is even that is not even relevant. But you still do it, so stop it. Stop procrastinating, stop just sitting around. If you want to do it, get your ass up and go and do it. Go and get whatever you want because you can do it. You just have to have the motivation. I did it. I changed my eating habits. I started working out from one day to the other. It had also something to do with the fact that I got bullied for a long, long time. You know, I learned how to deal with that. I know how horrible people can be. So. That's why mean comments or stupid comments don't even a factor because I know these people are just really sad with themselves and they feel like they need to stalk someone because they don't have their own life, which is kind of creepy, but whatever floats your boat. No, you don't have to have a certain weight to be accepted, but if you want to do it, then do it. I'm telling you, go do it. Go get your ass up because no one is stopping you and if you really want something, if you end up achieving it, you'll be so so proud of yourself. So just go do it. Just go do it. I basically just changed my eating habits. I started eating healthier. I completely stopped eating sweets for an entire year which helped me a lot. I mean, you don't have to do that, but I just need to do that cut because I ate lots, lots of stuff before that because, you know, I, had, I do have a sweet tooth. So it's just like nothing could stop me from doing that. So I was really happy that I actually decided to do that because it did help me a lot. I did work out a lot. I did start working out every single day for an hour. I started off doing it for like 50 minutes. Basically, I went on a cross trainer, which is kind of like a running machine. It has become like my daily morning routine where I just go and work out for an hour and then do like a couple push-ups and stuff like that. So it's not only changing your eating habits, it's also about working out. Lots of you guys just hate it a lot. I did too. I hated it. I used to even like try to just like not go to school sports now because I was that lazy. So now I ended up being super addicted to it. So now here I am and I'm just in love with sports. I do it every single day without having someone like forcing me to do it. So honestly, it will bring you so much. You'll have so much more energy and so much 
more of a positive attitude. Doing sports and working out does help a lot with trying to get rid of tension and anxiety. So it's not only like a losing weight, it also helps you with your life and with your attitude and with the way you see yourself and accept yourself. So if you want to go and see the details on how I lost weight, what I ate and all that, make sure to go check that video out right here. That's the main video where I talk about it for like almost 20 minutes. It's long but you will get all the details. So my next up is motivation. I know you guys are like, ah, oh, it's Christmas and I eat so much. You just do that because you're with everyone and I know I do it too. I try to stick to my healthy diet. I change my eating habits long term, which means I'm never gonna eat certain things again. Honestly, I don't really like fast food and any other food anymore. I don't eat that anymore. I just don't like it anymore. I'm more into healthy food. I'm more into quinoa, salmon, grilled chicken breast, and salad, potatoes. You will notice that you don't even have to struggle with sticking to your plan and to healthy stuff and healthy food anymore. It gets easier and easier. So like the holiday time is like a time where you don't really want to work out, where you just want to, you know, hang with your families and just have fun and not think about losing weight and all that. Honestly, no one really wants to do that. I wouldn't want to do that either. Without motivation, you can't really get your ass up every single day and go and work out. Motivation is a hard point. It's a hard thing to get, but it's an easy thing when you know how to do it. How to go get motivation? First, you have to change your way of thinking. You have to want to lose weight. You have to want to get healthy. You really need to be the person that wants to do it. You should never go and lose weight because someone else is telling you to do it. If you're accepting yourself the way you are, why should you ever change anything about yourself? Unless it's really like health threatening, then you might be, should do it. But unless it's not like that, you should never ever change yourself. Because if you love yourself and you accept yourself, that's amazing. Congratulations, because that's a really hard thing for lots of people to do. But if you want to do it, then really set your mind to it. Really do it. If you want to do it, you'll get the motivation. There are like a couple of tricks that I did. Putting out a picture of you, you know, at that point where it was really chubby. So I just put that on my mirror every single day, even on the fridge. So every time I was like tempted to get something that was bad for me, I just did not do it because I saw that picture and was like, I don't want to be that person anymore. There's like another little trick which is kind of like a funny thing. I do love online shopping. As soon as I craved something, I did go on online sites and things that I wanted to buy and was like, hey, you're not gonna be able to buy that and wear that and look freaking flawless if you keep eating like that. Motivation is really something that has to come from yourself. So regarding foods, I did do videos on breakfast, on lunch, and on snacks. I did tell you guys in my video that I don't eat dinner. Yes, I don't eat dinner. I do read comments and I'm not starving myself. Thank you for worrying or whatever. I don't do it. And I just don't personally like eating lots of stuff before I sleep because I'm not really able to sleep when I do that. And I drink a lot, which is also really important because you want your skin to be flawless. I try to cut up soda. I managed to do it. Yay! Last time I talked about it, I was like, I can't really get rid of it. But now I managed to do it. Yes. Uh -huh. Healthy foods really do not only help you to lose weight, but they also help to improve skin. My skin was really bad. Now my skin is, it is latched almost clear. I am the happiest person about it because I never used to go outside without makeup. And now I'm just going... I don't know, shopping or just like grocery shopping, just outside without makeup and I know it might be like nothing special to lots of people that don't really wear makeup at all but since I was always used to doing that because I wanted to hide myself, I used to hate myself because people used to bully me, used to tell me I was worthless, I was ugly and this death for me was something so special that just made me, it makes me happy every single day just knowing that I managed to achieve so much that I can be happy with myself. It's just such a beautiful feeling to be able to accept and love yourself. Finally, after all those years of getting bullied, of feeling bad, of hating myself, there's a point, you'll get to the point too, that you can love yourself, you can accept yourself. 
it's just a beautiful thing. Working out is so important when it comes to losing weight. Get yourself music that really gets you going, that you love to dance to. Make yourself a playlist. Listen to it. Working out doesn't certainly mean to only go on the running machine, to only go running. No, I'm not saying you have to go to the gym and do certain things that everyone does. I'm saying do something active. If you love cheerleading, do that. If you love dancing, go dancing. Find yourself a way to be active. The fact that I lost weight, the fact that I not only lost weight, but the fact that I managed to achieve something on my own, that I changed so much without anyone's help, gave me so much self-confidence and happiness and I'm, I would say like a new person. My attitude is positive, I'm positive 24-7, I'm happy 24-7. I don't let nothing get to me because I'm happy. I'm happy with myself. I love myself and guys loving yourself is so important guys it has nothing to do with being vain with being stuck up no you have to love yourself you have to love yourself first it is so important guys if you love yourself people will see that people will notice that you're happy you will glow from the inside you will be so much more beautiful if you're smiling smiling just smile even if you force yourself to smile just do it just smile and honestly if you don't love yourself how is anyone else supposed to love you your life your choices your body that is your body that is the place you have to live in that is your castle that you have to feel safe in and you should never, never try to destroy it, never try to put yourself down because you have to deal with that body that you live in your entire life. And you can make so much out of it. Everyone does have flaws. I do have a lot of flaws. I do have a lot of things that I'm not happy with. I'm accepting things. I'm accepting certain things that I don't, I never thought I would accept. I've come to that point where I do it and it makes me really happy. So just just be happy with yourself, just start loving yourself. It's all about self-acceptance, it's all about loving yourself. Because if you love yourself, you'll be positive, you'll be bubbly, people will notice it and you'll just be happy in general. And being happy is, for me, the main goal in life. Being happy with what I do, being happy with my job, being happy with the people that I surround myself with. Don't be scared to cut off people next year because it is about you, it is about your life. If you don't feel good with anything that you're doing, with people that you deal with, with the way you see yourself, change it. Change it. It's so funny because life is not a written book. It's not done. You can change anything at any time. Isn't it funny? If you think about it, you could move from one to the other day and it would change everything. So you can just change whatever you want, you just have to try, you just have to dare to try it and not let anyone hold you back because it is your life. I'm being so motivational right now but I'm just trying to tell you guys that it's so important to not let anyone hold you back because life is so short and I know lots of people are like, it's not short but it really is. It feels like 2015 just started and now it's over in like a couple days. And like what? I don't I don't know what's happening. Like huh? It's just so weird. So you have a lot of time, but then again, it's not a lot. It's not a lot if you compare it to the fact that this earth has been here for a thousand and thousand of years. So you're just like a little light. But you have to make the best out of it. You have to shine as bright as you can. So just you know make the best out of it. Don't let anyone hold you back. That was the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, a huge thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to my channel because there will be loads and loads of videos coming. I want you guys to do something for me. If you're watching this, you have to at least comment two questions for me, no matter what they're about. It can be about weight loss. It can be about me personally. But whatever you want to know, be as creative as possible because you can win something. The person with the most creative comment or comments will win a 30 minute Skype session with me where you can ask me whatever you want, for example, about weight loss, about how to be positive, about life, about my YouTube channel, about everything. If I like unicorns, I do, by the way. You can ask me whatever you want. 
I hope you guys like this video. I love you guys so much. I wish you guys all the best next year. I will see you in January. I will upload a Q&A to start off the next year. So make sure to go crazy in the comments. So I just do that. See you guys in 2016. I love you so much. Thank you for being there for me. I love you. Bye.